Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is Ino. So in today's video, it's gonna be a continuation of what we did, what I did in my um, one of my last videos, which was uh, on uh, information gathering tools that are available in uh, Kali Linux. So today I'm just gonna be covering two more tools. And uh, to get to the tools, go to applications, and then go to information gathering section, and then go to uh, live host identification. So the two tools I'm gonna be covering are FPing and uh, Mascan. So in my last video, I covered uh, RPing and uh, Nmap. So I'm just gonna be focusing on this uh, FPing and uh, Mascan. So we'll open FPing tool, and as you can see here, it opens and it's showing us the options that are available to us. So if you if I scroll back up, you can see there's different options available. So FPing tool is just an extension of the um, the regular uh, ping tool. So the difference is that with the ping tool, you can only ping one uh, IP address at a time. But with the FPing tool, you have the option to specify more than one IP address. So for example, so we do fping the one six dot say eleven one six one dot four. Then I can do the C switch and send three packets. And as you can see here I'm getting a response from both devices. So, and it's telling me how long it took for the response to come back. So both 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 uh, the devices are active; they're online and they're listening. And then, as far as the uh, the mask tool is concerned, so this is a kind of an, another extension of ping tool in that it adds uh, uh, some functionality to it which allows you to do not only a ping test, but you can also scan for like open ports. You can specify a port that you want to scan for in addition to an IP address. So we'll go ahead and uh, use this uh, mask count tool. So you can go, you can just type it from the command line and use the tool. If you already know what commands you want to, if you know what options you want to uh, use or another way to do it, to get to it, you can just go back to the information gathering section, and then you can go to live host, then uh, select it, and they will open it for you. So let's go ahead and uh, do an example of how to actually use this uh, this tool. So we'll do um, The P allows you to specify a port. So I know this port is open and uh, should be open on my default gateway. And then the IP of the default gateway. So so it looks like it's going to require uh, maybe a user sudo here. And as you can see here, it's it started the scan, and uh, so it's it's doing a port scan, and they did discover that this port twenty two for SSH is open. So that's how you would use uh, those two tools. Uh, for scanning your network as well as well as uh, for scanning um, for ports. So the ports allow it. This allows you to find out not only if a device is listening online. I mean, it's listening on the, net, on the network, but also if it's got some open ports and services, which can be uh, good information for you if you, you're doing uh, you you're trying to do penetration testing. Uh, another another option you have you can scan multiple ports.
port you can scan like a range instead of just one port you can do uh, a range whereby you specify let's say 200 i mean 10 to ports starting from port 10 to port 200 and then you'll do uh, the ip address so let's do a different ip here again this is just going to go through all those ports you specified in the range your ports range and try and find out which ports are open on that target so it's done with the scan here and it's found three ports that are open 139 tcp 135 tcp 21 tcp so that's it for this video i hope this information was informative and uh I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.